Hey everybody, welcome back to Chad's Trains and Things. And today, I'm gonna take you on a journey showing you how I built this cool little in the scale tree house and put it inside the tree and plant it there. So I hope you'll come along on the ride with me and we'll go from the kit of the tree house to it being put inside on the tree on the limb and what I had to do to it. So we'll start in a second. Okay, here we are at the workbench. You can see I got this tree house little laser etched wood kit that I'm build. So I get it put together, weather it up, see what all I'm gonna do to it. See if I got any trees good size or if I need to find a bigger tree to put in because this is going inside a tree. Then I'll adjust the ladder to the height need to be for the tree I got. I figured this could be a fun little build to take you all along with me on. It's upside down. I'm looking through the phone at. In scale tree house by GC Laser. Just show you all the information about what we're gonna do here. Now I have it here. I figured I'd open it up on camera, so get my big hands in the way. Try to man. Four staple holder on. They didn't want it coming open. I guess that's good. Oh, and it's sealed. So let's grab the knife. Slice her open. See what all we got in here. Okay. Set it off the side and show you. It's like there are the base, the floor. Maybe some windows or the sides to hold the roof up not sure exactly what we got here set that here where you can see it all then we got right here instructions open up see what we got i'll go through them a little more here when i start building all right basically breaks down your parts now and the back's got the build so Ain't a whole lot to the build. I can build it all once it's built, and I'll weather it all at one time, paint up however I want to paint it. We'll see how I go, but yeah, okay. So, them pieces are kind of the sides. They go on the floor. Looks like it's cut two to like go together, slot it and edge and everything. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna get to work on building this, and I'll check back in on with you a little later to show you the progress. So see you soon. Okay, gonna check in with you a little bit. See where I'm at. Kind of got side panel. I'm holding my hand. It's so small. It was the only way I kept trying to shoot to get to kind of show up, and it wasn't showing up very well. So I figured I'd hold it in my hand. And you can see going on. Got a floor. Come on. Oh. There we go. Side is coming up for the roof. The roof is the next part I put on. Really the only thing left is the roof to put on and build the ladder. You got the sides on it. There's your entrance. And then the panels go all the way around the back. It's wood. I'm still, it's still drying. So I'm messing with it as it dries to get it to straighten up a little bit more. But I'm also playing more like this was maybe built by kids and not an adult, so maybe it won't be perfect. Also, and I think when I get like brushing in the tree, it'll help it out a lot too. So yeah, just a quick look at where I am. I think next time I'll check in, I'll have the tree house completely done. And maybe even weathered some. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, it is built. I've weathered it, dirtied her up. May look like stuff from the trees falling and died on top of it. You see a little bit of white where the glue is still drying and weathered, but I thought that added a really cool touch to it. This one side's got like a patch or like it had some kind of vines growing on it that's dead now. 
so yeah there's the finish i got the i didn't build the wood ladder itself i got a couple metal ladders i'm painting up to use because i think i'll like it a little better and it'll be a little more sturdy so i can help it support the tree up and everything else with the the tree house up in this tree and that's the reason i'm going with it i just didn't think that that wood ladder putting it together would help support it up till it all gets dried in the ground bring it over i have grabbed a tree i'm gonna mess with it's laying over but it's got some bigger branches so i'm working on getting this tree getting the tree house in it some way there are some braces that you can use to glue onto the tree too they're like sway braces but i might use them to help hold it in the tree so once it's in the tree and done i'll come back and check in with you again okay got the tree here as you can see i end up using one of them sway bars underneath like they had to build they built a little extra board to help support the tree house see i got all kinds of glue on it right now to help just hold it in and let it dry then once it's all dry i'll mess with the tree a little bit more because i knocked some stuff around fighting with it all as i got foam here so i have to glue back on there once i get it where i'm going to put it all which i'm still not exactly sure of but yeah I like how that's hanging down but yeah there's your tree house now the ladder itself once i get the tree in place where i want it to go I'll finish weathering, up, oh, weathering this ladder up. I'll cut it to the size I need and do it all. But that's how it's going to be. It ain't quite the levelest treehouse in the world, but it's not bad. So, so here we are back on the layout. Tree in place. Club tree house there, ladder put in. Next step, be finishing this up, which will be the next video, training up this whole hillside back here, making it all look better. But yeah, there you go. In scale treehouse place. Boys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please smash that like button. The more likes, the better off I am on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber of my channel and see where all i go with this in scale and the o scale layout um if you want to be notified hit that bell notification and once again thanks for watching i will see you next time on chad's trains and things I'm out